Problem 25. What are the coordinates for point A on the graph? So the first coordinate is the x value and then the y. So you can see that it's um, the scaling on the x-axis is going by 1s, and the scaling on the y-axis is going by 10s. So 1, 2, and then 10, 20, 30. So point A is 2, comma 30. Point B, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the x, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 on the y. So point B is 4, comma 60. Part B, how many miles does Luca run in one hour? So we need to find the unit rate. And we can take either of these two and find the unit rate because if we look on the graph, we can't really use the graph because it doesn't fall on a lattice point. So if we go for one hour, if we go up, well, that looks like it might be 15, 16, we don't know. So to find the unit rate, we use either of these two known points and you have the y's divided by the x to find the unit rate. And 30 divided by two is 15 or 60 divided by four is 15. So Luca runs 15 miles per hour. Part C, write the equation in y equals kx form for Luca's pace. So the k represents the unit rate. So now that we found the unit rate, we can just write it as y equals 15x. For problem 26a, we need to find the area for each figure. So for the area of a rectangle, the formula is area equals length multiplied by width. So we have 7 multiplied by 9 gives you an area of 63 inches squared or 63 square inches. 26b, we have find the area of a parallelogram. And the formula for the area of a parallelogram is base times height. So we have the base is 15, the height is 6. So 15 times 6, and we have 90 square miles. For problem 26c, we need to find the area of a trapezoid. And the formula for the area of a trapezoid is base 1 plus base 2 multiplied by the height divided by 2. So we have the base 1, which is 11, plus base 2 is 8. The height is 7 divided by 2. So 11 plus 8 is 19. Now we multiply 7 multiplied by 19 is 133 divided by 2 gives us 66.5. So the area of the trapezoid is 66.5 square feet. Problem 26D, we have the area of a triangle. Remember, the area of a triangle is just half of a rectangle. Remember, the rectangle is length times width, but for a triangle, we call it base times height divided by two because it's half of a rectangle. So we have three multiplied by five, which is 15 divided by two, which gives us area equals 7.5 square centimeters. 26E, we're finding the area of a rhombus. And the area of a rhombus is diagonal one multiplied by diagonal two divided by two. So it doesn't matter which one you call diagonal one or two. So I called five diagonal one multiplied by diagonal two, nine, 5 times 9 is 45, divided by 2, which gives us an area of 22.5 units squared. And it's units because there's no um, unit of measure here, feet, inches, miles. For 26F, we have a composite here. So we have two shapes, and we have a rectangle and a triangle. So we need to find the area of the rectangle and the triangle and then add them together. So area of a rectangle is length times width and eight was not given. I found that because I knew that the length of this side of the triangle is nine and the length of both of them together is 17. So I just subtracted nine, 17 minus nine is eight and that gave me the length of this side of the rectangle. So I have 11 multiplied by eight, 
and then the triangle is 5 multiplied by 9, and I got the 5 because if the length of this is 6 and the whole length of it is 11, opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent, that means they're equal to each other, so 11 minus 6 gives me the remaining 5. So 5 times 9 divided by 2. So 11 times 8 is 88 units squared. So we found the area of the orange rectangle. And then 5 times 9 is 45 divided by 2, which gives me 22.5 units squared. So we add the area of the rectangle plus the triangle gives us a total area of 110.5 units squared. For number 27, we're finding the volume and surface area of this rectangular prism. And to find the volume, you have length multiplied by width multiplied by height. And so we have four multiplied by six multiplied by eight. Four times six is 24 multiplied by eight is 192 cubic centimeters. Square centimeters would be like the face two-dimensional. Cubic is when it's three-dimensional. Now to find the surface area, we need to find the area of each face. So we have a left and a right, a top and a bottom, and a front and a back. And so I just set them up as um, finding the area for the top and bottom, left and right, front and back. And so all of these are rectangles. So all of them have an area for length, times width. And for the top and bottom, they're the same, so they're going to have the same area. And so the bottom is 4 times 6, which is 24 centimeters squared. And then uh, that's for the top, and the bottom's going to be the same. Then we have left and right. We have 6 multiplied by 8, which is 48, that gives us the right side, 48 centimeters squared, and then the left would be the same. So we have two 48s, and then the front and then the back is four times eight, because remember, um, opposite sides of a rectangle, their lengths are congruent. So if this is eight, this is eight, so four times eight, which is 32, that gives us the front. The back is also 32 centimeters squared. And now I just add them all up, all the sides together, the faces together, and I get a total area of 208 centimeters squared. And remember, it's not cubic because it's just area, the faces, not the volume. For number 28, we need to find the range of this dot plot. And so each one of these dots represents the occurrence of the number 24. So this could be the age of um, the people who attended the party. So there are two people that are 24, three people that are 25, one person's 26, two people that are 27, and one person's 28. So the range is the dis the the difference between the greatest value and the least value. So we have the greatest value is 28, the least value is 24, so the difference is 4. B is the mode. The mode is the most frequently occurring value. So what age was the most common age at the party? Well, that's, you can see, 25. There were three people that were 25. The median is found by arranging the values in order from least to greatest. So we have, um, we have two 24s, 25, three 25s, one 26, two 27s, and 28. So I arranged them in order from least to greatest. And then you try to find the median, the, the one in the middle. So I just paired them up and I did this little rainbow to make sure that I'm pairing them up, but you can just cross them out um, either way. And I found that 25 is the one in the middle. If there are two in the middle, like say 25 and 26 were 
in the middle. Then you would find the mean or the average of the two, and you would add them up and then divide by two. The mean is when you add all the values up. So if we add all the ages of all the people that attended the party, and I get 231, so we take the sum of them, and then divide it by how many attended, how many um, values you have. And there's a total of nine numbers. So I did 231 divided by nine. So the mean or average age of the people who attended the party is 25.6, and this is a repeating bar. So I could have rounded it up to 25.7, um, or I could, um, you could do 25.66, um, but this is an exact value. Problem 29, we need to plot the points on the graph and find the area of the polygon that it creates, polygon ABC. So point A is at five on the X, and you can see that the, um, the scale of the X axis and the Y axis is going by fives. So five on the X and then 15 on the Y, and that's point A. Point B is negative 10, so negative five, negative 10 on the X and positive 15 on the Y, 5, 10, 15. Remember, X's, positives go to the right, negatives go to the left, positive Y's go up, negative Y's go down. Point C, negative 10 on the X, negative 5 on the Y, and D is positive 5 on the X, negative 5 on the Y. And to find the area of this polygon, so it's a rectangle, we need to do length multiplied by width, and we just find the, the distance from C to D, which is 5, 10, 15, so it's 15 units, and from C to B is 5, 10, 15, 20 units. Remember, the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by width, so we have 15 multiplied by 20, which gives us an area of 300 square units.